Hi there, welcome to the latest episode of My 10 Minute Moan. And the topic of this 10 Minute Moan is me looking at some outrageous claims made by environmentalists about pollution deaths in Scotland. Now what happened about three days ago, in the last week, I've done a video about um, this new campaign by environmentalists to get the Scottish local governments to start issuing fines to motorists idling their engines. And I've done a, uh, a 10 minute moan about it, but there was one thing that's used by the environmentalists to substantiate their reasoning behind these fines. And it was a claim that 2,500 Scots die each year prematurely due to poor air pollution. And I thought, that's quite a lot. That's 200 people per month dying early because of air pollution. 50 a week. That just sounds like quite a lot. And where, where does this figure come from? So I started trying to find out where this figure came from. And I found these claims all over the place. And these places like the, um, what's this one called? NHS and Forum. Scott, which is part of our NHS. They say in their website up to 2,700 deaths can be linked to outdoor air pollution in Scotland each year. Not early deaths, this is a, they've got a different way of spinning it. The up to 2,700 linked to outdoor air pollution. There's another one here claimed by Scottish Air Quality, another quango. And they say up to, right, in the UK, outdoor air pollution is one of the greatest environmental risks to public health, with between 29 and 43,000 deaths a year attributed to long-term exposure in the UK. So that, therefore, is up to 2,700 of these deaths on Scotland. But where did these figures come from? And I find nothing anywhere to tell me. Um, where was this one? Public Health Scotland. An estimated 1,800 to 2,700 deaths in Scotland are attributed to long-term exposure to outdoor air pollution each year. Well, now we've got three quangos telling us the same thing. Friends of the Air Scotland. <coughs> Transport is Scotland's biggest source of climate emissions and the primary source of air pollution, which leads to 2,500 premature deaths in Scotland each year. All of them shouting the same thing. It's this one, low emissions zones, Scotland, protecting people's health with cleaner air. And they say, guess what? The quality of air we breathe is, treated, is threatened by harmful levels of air pollution which possess, poses significant risks to public health. In Scotland alone, up to 2,700 deaths per year are attributed to long-term exposure to air pollution. Another quango. And the Royal College of Paediatrics and Child Health. They were having clean air day. The World Health Organization has recently recommended that target pollution levels should be much lower than those we have in Scotland. And Health Protect Scotland, another quango, estimates that approximately 1,700 annual premature deaths in Scotland can be attributed to air pollution. This is the Royal College of Paediatrics and Child Health telling us these figures as well. Then I go to the STV who on the 20th of June. 24, done an article, Doctors Issue Call to Tackle Air Pollution in Scotland on Clean Air Day. Approximately 1,700 annual premature deaths a year can be attributed to air pollution. But I can't find anywhere where these figures come from, other than... So I found two... So I found two... Uh, there, there was an article... Um, long-term exposure to air pollution and mortality in Scotland carried out by four um, people going for a PhDs at St Andrews. Mary Abdul Al-Ahad led it with Oscar Demser, Frank Sullivan and Hill Kulu. 
writing this paper. And in the paper, it says, air pollution is associated with several adverse health conditions, blah, blah, blah. And they looked at 200,000 individuals aged 17 and older between 2002 and 2017. So for 15 years worth of data, they've looked at. And they came up. You'd think they would come tell us, you know, how many people that, that it's killing. But they came up, if I can just get back to it, their conclusion is cracking. Where is it? It was conclusion. Now, they've done all this study with all this 200,000 people's life examined in data over 15 years of, of figures. The study con contributed to the evidence that long-term exposure to ambient air pollution is associated with morality. The results suggest that policies and interventions to enhance air quality would reduce the mortality hazard from both physical and mental illnesses in the long term. That took, you had to look at 15 years of data to tell you having bad pollution is a pretty bad thing. But the key thing is there, the results suggest that policies and interventions to enhance air quality would reduce the mortality hazard. But they don't tell you how much. So that's, that's you know, four professionals looking at 15 years worth of data and can he come up with a figure? Our own Scottish government put out um, Cleaner Air for Scotland, an environmental report. This was on the 30th of October 2020, four years ago. And on it, it says here that we breathe is fundamental human life, quality environment, blah, 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 blah. And tells you that, nah, nah, yes, I think I'm going to put this up here, actually. There's a graph that shows you the emissions, all these bad things in the air, and how they've dramatically dropped since 1995. And the biggest factor, and I know about this because it was in the motor trade at the time, is when we done away with selling leaded petrol. The emissions... Every single one of them decimated. And they've continued to go down in a southerly trajectory every year. But we have to do more. We in the UK have to do more. Well, China build new coal plants and um, furnaces, etc. Every week, adding. So what they're adding in pollution, we've, we've, we've took a big dip, right? We, we, we can't have another big double dip because they've only got that much to get to zero. So we went from there to here. We can only move that much if he turned off all our cars, right? Anyway, um, these Scottish figures were telling us, where is it, but there was a bit that was in this, about the deaths. But these figures were... Now, in 2006, this is the Scottish government, the levels of PM2.5, it's one of the, the particulars... Um, particles was associated with an estimated equivalent number of attributable deaths across Scotland of 1,700. This is in 2016. We're eight years for then, and we're still we're telling people it's more, right? This is a decrease compared to the estimation of 2,000 in 2010. So between 2010 and 2016, we managed to take 15% reduction from 2000 to 2017. So in the next six years, if we'd done another, that would be another 340, we'd be down to about 1,400. That would take us up to 2022. But what these specialists are telling you is, is it's actually double that. They're telling you figures as high as 2,700. Even the highest figure I can find in Scottish um, government paperwork is 2,000, but that was 14 years ago, and it has been reducing. But these crackpots... Where they get these, they're just pulling a figure out of thin air and going, here's a big scary figure, stop driving your cars. That's basically what's going on here. And I've kind of had enough of it. We are dear industrialising our whole nation. And when I say that, I talk about the United Kingdom. Chasing this fallacy and these figures that are dreamt up and, and evidently lies when you consider that we were at 2,000 years ago and we're now you know, we would be a damn sight better because we had a 30%, sorry, a 15% uh, improvement over a six-year window going into 2016. In 2016, 
It was estimated 1,700. Our pollution has not got worse in the eight years since then. Pollution will get better. But these crackpots will tell you that the deaths are higher. And the only thing I can think of is in terms, and this is again on the Scottish, web, Scottish government website, in terms of in, indoor air pollution, sorry that was indoor, but what they're basically suggesting is the World Health Organisation put a figure on it at some time ago for Europe. So if you take UK's share of that and the Scottish share of the UK number, it could be all these high numbers. But these are figures, guesstimates by the World Health Organisation. And what's happening here is the public are... Look, I'm not right. Pollution's bad, right? right? Let's just put that out there, right? There's, nobody's disputing pollution as a bad thing, right? But to get it to zero is ridiculous. And to get it to zero means we have no industry. Well, we're on the other side of the world. China, India, keep building factories, keep building power plants, keep building, uh, opening coal. Um, they, they know, they're actually opening new coal mines when we're shutting ours, right? We don't have a steel furnace in the United Kingdom now. Do you know why? We're trying to get an eco-friendly version. Don't tell that the Chinese that are building 200 of them a month, right? It just beggars belief. And we are getting driven by scaremongers. We made up figures. And we're buying into it. We buy into it all the time. So yes, let's try and be as eco-friendly as we can. But stop the nonsense. Stop the lies. And stop this zero emissions at all costs because it's impractical and it's actually we need co2 in the atmosphere or see the green things out there called trees grass bushes plants they die they can't they need co2 in the atmosphere or they burn out that's true and we're about half of one percent away from affecting those green things out my window it's madness please stop the noise if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up if you've not already done so please consider subscribing and hit the notifications bell <sighs> put your comments below let's hear some of the mad stories that we get told about how we're ruining the planet right and how it's all your fault right but china can do what they want but britain just just stop 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 eating food right stop having cows stop having uh, farmers grow vegetables let's just put um what do you call them um <laughs> Terrible. The um, windmills and all that nonsense. And f big fields of solar power panels, right? That's what they want us to do. It's, it's madness. Anyway, most important of all, as long as you're not one of these crackpots, who's telling us lies and we have the environmental badge on? Not you, but. Everyone else, have a great day. Jerry bye now. <laughs> <laughs>